Uh, Sam, why, uh, why do you have to bring up such a tragic subject? Uh, uh, Vincent is dead. We both saw his body fall off the cliff. We never found the dead body, did we? Well, what are you getting at? Sheridan is in that cubicle. And even though she's been through hell, she seems to be making sense. She swears that the person who drugged her, put her in the barrel, and pushed her over Niagara Falls was Vincent. What? She's most probably losing her grip on reality again. I mean, how could Vincent be alive? She's adamant, Julian. In fact, she said that Vincent broke into her cottage and overpowered her. Oh, goodness, you mean that was a miracle? It was a miracle. Our son, Julian. What you mean, our, our son may be alive. Our, wait, wait, a baby boy? A baby boy. <laughs> it's all over for us. No, don't say that. Don't say that. We have to protect him. <clears throat> How? The police are involved now. Can we get back to the questioning, please? Oh, oh, oh Sam. <laughs> I thought hope was dead. Yes, you can't. You cannot give us this hope again. I mean, you have to be sure. It would be just far too cruel to lose him all over again. He wasn't exactly your golden boy, was he? Oh, but we loved him. No matter what he did, including rape, arson, serial murder. Now, Louise, every family has a black sheep in it. <laughs> But what I don't understand is, is how he could be alive because nobody could survive a fall from that cliff. And you, you found his blood on the rocks. Oh, no. It's impossible. Oh, that's kind of strange coming from you, isn't it, Eve? And why is that? What about the reports filed here at the hospital that you were having delusions? That you swore that your son Vincent was still alive? Oh, Sam, that was before. That was when I had slid back into alcohol and drugs in grief. Uh, but now I, I have pulled myself back together again. Mm -hmm. So are you sure you know nothing about your son Vincent reappearing here in Harmony? No, nothing. Right, Julia? Yes, right, Eve. You don't mind putting it down on tape, do you? I'm going to ask you an official question, and I want a straight answer, in case it's needed in the future for evidence. <clears throat> this is Chief Bennett, and I'm questioning Julian Crane and Eve Russell. Did either of you have any idea that your supposedly dead son, Vincent, was still alive? Come on. Please. Let's hear it. Sam, all right, uh, no, I didn't have any idea that Vincent was alive, and in spite of the fact that, in spite of the fact that Sheridan says so, I still don't believe it. Uh, I, uh, concur with that. And I don't know why you're, you're believing Sheridan so much. I mean, she's obviously in hell again. She's imagining things. I mean, Lord knows when you think of Sheridan, you don't also think of stability. <laughs> Well, Sheridan was... This is Luis Lopez Fitzgerald. Sheridan was very sure of herself. Well, Luis, I mean, I had to treat Sheridan as a psychiatrist several times, and I can assure you Sheridan is prone to flights of fancy. She's cuckoo. We don't use cuckoo in the profession, but... Well, what I don't understand is... is how Vincent could still be alive. I don't know. <clears throat> but Sharon is my witness, and that's what she says. Louise, let's go question Sharon a little bit more in depth. Well, if she's up to it. Uh, I really don't know why I ever moved to this town. I mean, even the dead pop out of nowhere to murder people. Um, have you guys seen Vicky? Because if Vincent's really walking around, I need to find her. No, we haven't seen her. <sighs> Vicky? Vicky Lambchop? Oh, 
What the hell are we going to do now? He's out of control. He's just completely out of control. I mean, our son took your sister and shoved her over Niagara Falls in a barrel? Well, at least he hasn't lost his initiative. Oh, Julian, it isn't funny. No, I'm not laughing. I don't think it's funny. It's just, do you think he's the one who killed Alistair? No. Oh, and, and by the way, Valerie is in the ER with the baby. What? She's out in public. Well, she had your baby, and she wanted to get the birth registered. But she swore to me that neither she nor Vincent had anything to do with Alistair because they were too busy with Sheridan. Oh, my God. Yeah, well, it, it gets worse. How is that possible? Oh, God, well, all right, listen to this. When Valerie found out that Sheridan was unharmed, she was very upset. And that's because she knows Vincent wants to become the new Sheridan Crane. What are you talking about? He wants to be my sister now as well? Well, don't look at me like that. I know it's insane. But he vowed, or she, I, oh, I get them so mixed up. They vowed to kill Sheridan, no matter what it takes. I just that can't happen. What happened to his promise to no more killing? Well, I guess that just applied to two of us being safe. That is some good news. But, you know, I was certain that he was the one who killed Alistair. I mean, it would make sense because, you know, what Alistair had done to him. Well, Valerie says not. And if Valerie didn't do it and Vincent didn't do it, then, then who did it? So, what did Sheridan say? Maybe she got knocked on the head in that barrel. That can make people say all sorts of nutty things. So, does she still think that uh, Vincent pushed her over Niagara Falls? We went to question Sheridan. Yes? Well, what did she say? Nothing. She's sleeping, and the doctor won't let us wake her for further questioning. Oh, gosh. Isn't that too bad? Well, I mean, it's probably a lost cause anyway. I mean, I, I know my sister better than anyone, and she's always lived a dream world as long as I can remember. You have to remember, she was once in a padded cell. Sheridan is as sane as you or I. Well, I mean, Louise... You have to admit it's beyond belief to accuse a dead man of trying to kill you, I mean. This is harmony, Eve. People come back from the dead all the time. I've done it. That's is Julian. Well, I, I, I think you're wasting your time waiting to talk to my scatterbrained sister when you should be out hunting for the real killer. I, I'll wager it's the same person who cut off little Julian. My Vicky, I was so worried. For a moment there, I thought the worst had happened. Has everyone met my pride of joy? Julie and we made something beautiful together. Wait a second. Has anyone seen Ivy? That's strange. She seems like she just disappeared. It's not like Ivy to leave without saying goodbye. Uh, y you don't think... Has anyone seen her? Not I. No. I hope nothing bad's happened to her. Oh, you have such a good heart. <laughs> that child is about as emotional as a rattlesnake. She'll go far. You know, the last time I saw Ivy, she was helping me find a boarding school for Vicky, but I don't know where she went from there. Hmm. Ivy! 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 What is that? Is that blood? Oh, no. Well, this is a hospital. Blood gets spilled all the time. It's stuck. Ivy. Ivy, are you in there? <laughs> 